you've made your way to Big Daddy's house. My name's Adam. So, what are we doing today? LED low beam. Let's fire it up, baby. Oh yeah, and if you're a visual learner like me, smash that subscribe button. And fade in. <laughs> All right, so before we get started, I feel like I'm always wearing black. I need to figure something else out, something a little different. I love this shirt, but it's obviously the wrong occasion. That's better. I've been sitting on these for about three months, maybe. Even maybe even more. I don't know. I'll have to look it up on my Amazon account. I ran into a little problem. <laughs> so, as you guys may or may not know, I've changed my headlights to the OLED. And apparently the OLED takes an H7 bulb. Okay. So previously, what I wanted to put in there was these. <sighs> little dusty. They've been in my garage even longer than these. But these are R3H11. So if you have stock quads, this is what you would really need. Uh, I had to purchase this because I got the OLED and I, I don't know, I don't know why I thought it had the stock bulbs in it, but it, it does not. So if you guys got those OLEDs, I'm gonna save you the time and trouble right now. You need the H7s, okay? So that's partly the reason why I got these. I could not find the Hakari in H7. So, which really stinks, because I really wanted these in there. So why did I choose this as a second option? Well, with LED lights, you know, you want the, the LED as close to the center as possible. So that way you don't get that scatter. This had a lot of good reviews. I'm gonna put it in, I'm gonna adjust them, I'll see what happens. You know, as far as I hope I don't get much scatter or any at all really I want that hot spot to be right where I want it if they suck I'll let you guys know and I'll try a different pair so let me pull this out so you can see what we're dealing with here this is the connection I need for my OLED lights let me show you the connection on the stock ones see the difference so these are pretty much useless to me and I'm already past, way, way past the Amazon return date. So probably in a future video, I'm gonna use these as a giveaway for one of you lucky people. So this does come with the fan, of course. They make other ones which have a stainless steel ribbon that you kind of just like fold out and it uh, disperses the heat that way. I looked at those, but I don't know, I just feel more comfortable with a fan for some reason. That's one of the reasons why I went with this. And then after we install these, I'm going to go through the entire procedure of Alpha OBD. If this is the first Alpha OBD video you've seen, I would highly suggest you click this link up here. And this is the very first thing you should do with Alpha OBD. I explain a lot more about Alpha OBD. Um, I'm not going to probably go into it a whole lot now. Um, it's for fourth gen RAMs. If you have a 2018 or 19 classic, or I think even 2020 by now classic, uh, you need a bypass harness, but all that information is in that video up there. Take a look at it. I'm also going to leave a link to the RAM forum, which is where I get all my information, and I'm happy to share it with you guys. I just try to bring the most accurate information I can to you, show you guys step by step, visually, what we can do with Alpha OBD. And this is another thing. I've been wanting to do this for a while. I got transferred a little while back, and my drive is very dark on the way home now no street lights um, I took a little video of it with my phone I'll try to splice it in with this stuff so you guys can see what I'm dealing with so hopefully this will help my fog lamps I have those on and they're LED now I'm gonna pop those off in a second and you'll see just with my regular halogen how damn dark it is So without further ado, let's get started. Let's put these bad boys in. A couple things I want to get out of the way just right off the bat. This is my COVID-19 haircut. See this? It's nasty. So if you mention that in the comments, you're automatically going to get a thumbs up. 
The other thing is I haven't washed my truck in forever. So if you put that in the comments, how dirty my truck is, I'm just also gonna give you a thumbs up because you're also correct. So I'm not gonna show you how to remove the headlights in this video because I've already done it in two other videos and I'm not gonna bore you with doing it all over again. So if you're the kind of person that likes to remove the grill, this is the video for you, okay? If you're the kind of person that doesn't want to deal with this and wants to just only move the headlights, then click over here for that. Don't laugh at my ratchet setup, all right? I don't have a long extension. <laughs> Get that other pin in there. See this right here? That's what I'm talking about. Just gotta pull it and latch it right in. There's a little notch in there, which you'll, which you'll see when you take it out. Okay, now let's hope this boot goes on just right. I was a little worried about how big this plug is. This is definitely taking some finesse. I don't, this is not, probably not gonna make me happy. I don't really wanna cut the boot. I mean, for that to stay together, I'm pretty much gonna have to tape that. I mean, that is not gonna, that's not gonna stay like that, I don't think. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's just gonna pop off. I'm stuck with these already, because I'm past the return point. So, for right now, I'm just gonna tape it around the boot so it doesn't pop off. And I'm gonna order some other ones that don't have this big old funky plug on it. Just hopefully I can get a pair where it plugs in right to the back of the motor, which would be fantastic. But I'll see what I find. I'll let you guys know. Why do I always pick the hottest days for this stuff? I don't even know why I got in, but First thing you want to put in is OBD Link MX, which is right under here. Which I usually can fill around and do, but for your guys' sake, look at how the truck can do it. Like we've done many times in the past. Key in, two clicks to run, and then we'll fire up our Alpha OBD app. Bam. All right, so first thing we'll want to do is connect. I use Bluetooth. Um, you can use Wi-Fi if you want. I've always had better success with Bluetooth. I've tried Wi-Fi. I don't know, whatever. To each their own. Uh, where are you? There you are, OBD Link MX. Tap that. Now, if that doesn't show up, there's a button down on the OBD Link itself. You just hold that in for five seconds and it will reset the unit. All right, so what are we doing today? Well, I already have everything out because I've used it before, obviously. So if you've never used it before, you want to hit right here, Dodge Ram, and then you want to hit Ram. Hey, you know what? Let me just do it all for you. So you hit Dodge Ram like that. Select car model. You would tap that. Then look at all these car models here. You could do all kinds of good stuff. But today we're working with the Ram 1500, bam. And then select function, click that box. And uh, there's a bunch of functions here uh, you guys can check out. Just be really careful with what you mess with because I've had people mess with stuff they don't really understand and it'll just, it will 
mess up the systems in your car or a truck. And you'll have to go through and one by one figure out what it is and then reset it back to where it was. Um, I have a link I'll put where, like right here, here, here. I don't know where I'm at compared to this. But uh, the first thing, the very first thing you should do with Alpha OBD, I'll have that up here. Uh, select function, right? Is that what we're doing? Yes. So we want body computer. Click there. And then select control unit. We'll click there. And then we want, well, I want uh, 13 through 17 power net. And that's because I have a 2014 RAM. I've tried the 2014 power net. My 2014 power net didn't really work for me. So I've always gone with this. So I'm going to continue with that. You guys clicked. You guys click whatever value is relative to your vehicle. Now remember, if you have an 18 or 19 classic or 2020 classic, I think even now, you'll need the bypass harness, or you'll get a you get a crazy default message saying that it won't, you know, it can't connect, it won't work. Um, <clears throat> so if you're getting that message, it's because you failed to get the bypass harness, guys. And unfortunately, there's no way around that as of yet, anyways. So then we hit connect right here, bam. Connected the body, computer, blah, blah, blah. Okay, so now we want to hit the car with the hood up. We'll hit that. And then select procedure to start. We'll click that. And then all the way at the bottom here, it'll say car configuration change. That's what we want to do right now. We want to change the configuration. And then select option, click that. Now it wants to know what car configuration change do we want to make. And... I remember it's like halfway down here, CBC, getting close, uh, LED, come on, there we go, LED section, see all the LEDs in there? So basically, you could, you could do any of these if you're doing this particular value, but for today we're doing the, the low beams, so what I'm looking for is LED low beam lamps present. So that's what I would click right here. Bam. And then select value. Select value. Value would be yes. They are present. Or at least they both will be present soon. Right now we just have one present. But it doesn't matter. It'll, I'm going to put the other one in right after this. Uh, and then hit start. And then it says your current configuration is no. Blah, 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 blah. You sure you want to do this kind of thing? And then you hit yes i'm sure and then you want to hit there it is right there procedure completed so now we hit back back and then yes we want to exit and then we want to go to our you got it guys the five minute alpha obd clock <laughs> now i get tons of questions on this about why do you do five minutes adam because I did mine and I didn't have to do five minutes. I did it in like a minute or a minute and a half or whatever. So this is just something that is like a consensus, like in the Rams form that, you know, just wait five minutes. Some values will change faster. Some won't. Some you got to cycle the key on and off a few times for it to work. It just depends on what you're changing. So I always do five. It's kind of a safe number. It's what you know they suggested in the ram form i'll leave a link for that like i said earlier when i was talking upstairs i'll leave a link for that uh in my description so you guys could go in the ram form and you know ask questions in the alpha alpha obd form whatever you guys want to do so that's why i do this so bam five minutes starts so then i started this so we'll turn off the key and we will exit the vehicle now you can take the OBD link uh, out if you want. I usually don't, but you know, it's up to you. Whatever you guys want to do. See you in five minutes. Let's take a look, see what we got. Well, what do you think? I think they look pretty magnificent. So I'm not gonna do a video on aiming these things right I'm, i mean i might do one later down the road but i'm not going to attach it to this video because it's really just about alpha obd but don't be a jerk okay 
do some research, learn how to aim these, figure out what measurements you need to do and how you need to adjust these lights so they don't hit someone square in the face. And the second thing, if you have these old OLED lights like I have, I'm gonna tell you right now, by putting in LEDs, you voided the warranty, which is why I waited two years before I did this. I wanted to make sure that these lights were sound, you know, they didn't have any leaks, you know, they were working well for me, and I've had no problems with these. I love these lights. All right, guys, same road, new setup. It is brighter, a lot brighter, but I'm, uh, I'm definitely gonna change them get get the other ones because those boots are just gonna eventually pop off so but I don't think that this would have been complete without showing you guys what it looked like at night thanks for watching and live your best life You guys ever wonder what kind of crazy things I do while I'm uh, waiting my five minutes? I eat popsicles. <laughs> because I have the OLD. OLD. <laughs> yeah, I make mistakes too. I'm human. <laughs> Scattered light and oncoming. Oncoming. Oncoming? Oncoming? If <laughs> <laughs> It's hot. It's been a long day.